Today I'm rehabbing my common extensor tendon, which is right here. It's the white structure. And this is commonly known as tennis elbow. Patients will uh, call me up and say, Doc, my elbow's killing me. And it's kind of right in this one spot. They'll say it hurts more when I lift things. That really flares it up. Um, this is also known as lateral epicondylitis. It goes by several names, actually. But lateral epicondylitis is kind of a misnomer because epicondylitis means inflammation of the bone. It doesn't really involve the bone or inflammation. Really, the most accurate term is common extensor tendinosis. And the reason for that is that these muscles that extend the wrist and the hand come together to form this common tendon. And so common tender, common extensor tendinosis becomes a mouthful after a while. It just means that that tendon is abnormal. And what happens over time is that tendon begins to fray a little bit. The collagen fibers separate and it begins to degenerate. And that's what we can see. So when patients come in as part of our exam, we'll do an ultrasound. This area is very readily visualized on ultrasound. And what I do is I take the ultrasound probe and I place it right over the problematic area. In this case, part of that muscle and the associated tendon, just like that. And so what we're going to see then is on the ultrasound image on the machine is we have the muscle tissue here coming up to form the more white tendon, which attaches up here to this bone, this very white bone. And tendons generally should be pretty white. Now in this area, it's quite dark. And that's what happens on ultrasound when tendons become abnormal, they become darker. There's also a little bit of spurring right here. So this is an abnormal tendon. This is kind of characteristic. This is classic of this problem. And there are many different ways to treat it. First thing we'll tell patients to do, of course, is stop doing the repetitive activity that's making it worse. But beyond that, we'll have them do very specific stretches also specific exercises. That's what I was doing at the beginning of the video. I was using this thing called a flex bar. But um, you don't have to get fancy. You can even use a milk jug, for example, and place your arm on a table and use the other hand to help the milk jug up and then slowly lower it back down. Because when you do that, that force sends a signal to the tendon cells called tenocytes to say, hey, we've got to lay down more collagen. We've got to get stronger. We've got to heal. And so it's very much an active rehab. We encourage exercise as part of the recovery process. Um, beyond that, sometimes we'll treat the tendon using the ultrasound with one of several different injections. Sometimes if it's really bothering people, we can put a little bit of anti-inflammatory medication on top of that tendon safely using the ultrasound. I also really like to do a treatment called platelet-rich plasma. For this condition, patients seem to respond very, very well to that. In fact, there are several papers looking at this condition with platelet-rich plasma that show really positive results. Um, beyond that, if the tendon on the ultrasound looks very abnormal, I might jump to something called a percutaneous tenotomy, which is just a minimally invasive procedure. I've got a little demo kit here. This is the device that I'm talking about. And what we can do is numb the patient up really well around the tendon area and insert this little device in, into and around the tendon and use it to clean that tendon up. So they used to have to do this in an operating room, but now we can use a minimally invasive device like this to shoot saline into the tendon and suck it back into this tube, and it kind of pulses it in there to clean out that damaged and degenerated tissue. And once we're done, we essentially just kind of cover the area with a Band-Aid, more or less. So it's, it's a very nice procedure. It's minimally invasive, and again, the patient's numb, so they really don't feel much of any of it. So um, those are different treatment options for the condition. Again, it's very common. I see this weekly in my clinic. Um, if you have any questions about this condition, tennis elbow, lateral epicondylitis, common extensor tendinosis, it's all the same thing. It refers to this area and pain in that location. So any questions, let us know. Info at inertiamedical.com.